Hello everyone, our model is since when reading project from the Proxical Go. Let's start with listening, then answer some questions. First, a history of special effects. Audiences have been fascinated by moving images in films ever since the Lumiere brothers first showed short films in a cafe in Paris on December 28, 1895. That day, the audience screamed when a train on the film came straight toward them. Since then, filmmakers have used various techniques to amaze viewers. These techniques form the art of special effects and create the visual illusions on the screen. Second one. One of the first special effects used in motion pictures was discovered by accident. While filming in the streets of Paris in 1896, Georges Millet's camera stopped and started again. When he viewed the film later, he found that the stop trick had caused a bus to turn into a carriage and pedestrians to disappear or change into different people. Because the film sequence had been interrupted, the picture seemed to mysteriously change before his eyes. Since then, filmmakers have used tricks like this to make people see things that didn't happen in real life. Third one. Filmmakers today still use other old techniques, such as miniatures and the animation of small-scale models. One of the most famous special effects in film history was the title character in King Kong, made in 1933. The huge gorilla on top of the Empire State Building was actually only 18 inches, 45 centimeters high. The film contained many revolutionary technical innovations for its time. Another classic was Star Wars 1977 and its sequels, created by George Lucas. His ideas for the imagery and action scenes were so fantastic that the special effects crew often had to invent new techniques to accomplish them. They made many improvements in effects technology and developed a computer-controlled camera to create scenes with more realistic motion. And the last part? Nowadays, digital technology has given special effects a totally new dimension. Films such as Jurassic Park, Toy Story, and Avatar have become references in the art of visual effects. Imaginary situations and characters that only existed in books and comic books, such as Spider-Man, have also been made to look realistic on television thanks to computer-generated images. The art of filmmaking never stops. What amazing visual effects will filmmakers use in the future? You'll see them on the screen soon. So it's about movies and how they make them. Like now, I want you to answer these questions. Number one, how long have audiences watched films? They have watched it like since 1895 or for more than 115 years. How was the stop trick discovered? It was by accident. What special effect was used for King Kong? A small model of gorilla was used, but in the film it looked large. How did the special effect crew of Star Wars create realistic motion? They used a computer-controlled camera to create scenes with more realistic motion. What films have become references in the art of visual effects? Jurassic Park, Lord of the Rings, Toy Story, and Avatar. And I believe some of you watched them. Have you seen any of the films mentioned in the article? Like, if it is yes, then give me your opinion. That, like, did you like it? What you didn't like? And this stuff. If no, then try to watch some. Now, match the words with their meanings. Number one, technique. It means a way of doing things, sequence, actions or events in a particular order. Entrapped, stop in the middle. Miniature, it's a small model. Innovation, a new way of doing things. And accomplish, succeed in doing something. Now, if I ask you to design a presentation about important inventions, think about one important invention in your life, like, for example, your phone. Why is it important to you? Because you talk to your friend or you can study with it. Make a list of advantages and disadvantages of this invention. Like if it is your phone, what is the good and bad about it? For how long do you have it? Like how many years? Can you live without it? Yes or no? So for today, we learned about the main ideas, designing a presentation and new words. Thank you for listening.